2020 Sunday continues once again. Barbara Walters. There are few sports quite as macho as the professional race car circuit. Engines and speed and danger all appeal to a certain kind of man. But you're about to meet a woman driver who is fast, really fast. And she set her sights on racing in the Indy 500. Now, that's interesting, yep, but this petite woman who turns heads at the track has a story to tell that has unsettled her friends, shocked her family, and startled nearly everybody in the racing world. Because, as Perry Peltz tells us, there's much more to this woman than meets the eye. When Terry O'Connell tells her life story, she advises people to sit down and buckle up. There's rough road ahead. It's been a hell of a ride. It's been tough. It's been difficult. But it's been great. Just a few years ago, Terry was an up-and-coming race car driver, breaking records and winning sprint and midget car races across the country. I was kicking butt. I was, I was taking names out there. Uh, God gave me an incredible ability to drive an automobile really, really fast and in control. If it's tough to imagine this tiny strawberry blonde competing in this testosterone-fueled sport surgery, it amazes even Terry. To see me today and, and realize that I was this incredible macho race car driver back then, so it's pretty strange. The crowd at this Arkansas Speedway may not recognize the new JT, but promoter Shan Tillman says the old one was a track legend. Back, he was one of the top five. He was very, very good, outstanding, and probably would have won on to being a superstar. I wanted to be a girl. I liked being a girl. I wanted to do everything that girls did. Terry O'Connell lived her life anonymously, moving to Charlotte, North Carolina on her own. Wow. Trying to be just one of the girls. Eventually, she found work at a talent agency and even did some modeling. Now, six years later, she realizes that something, besides the obvious, is missing from her life. Motorsports is my lifeblood. I miss it. I want to get back to it. Has anyone said, forget about it? Oh, yeah, there's been several. Well, they're not blatant and to the point as, as that was. But Terry isn't backing down. After all, she was practically born on a racetrack. Jim Hayes bought on a go-kart when he was five years old. I crashed it right off the bat. But as the years went on, I developed an incredible talent for it. and. It just got into my blood. At a very early age, Terry could take a motor apart and put it back together. That's the first one. That, that's the first one. That's the first of many. He won one race after another, following in the footsteps of his proud father. My dad is a man's man. He's a tough guy. My house was the mecca for men coming over to the house and working on their race cars. And yet you were secretly wanting to be a female during all of this. Is that right? That's exactly from day one, just just an overwhelming desire. I would go, I would be out in the shop with my dad and with all these guys when I was 10 or 11, 12 years old, working on cars, piddling with my go-kart, doing all those things that I do, and go into my house at night to go to bed and I was by our rock crest, head on into a concrete wall and immediately come to a stop. The injuries were severe. JT soon began a long, secret evolution. And all the while, his success as a race car driver grew. And here we go with the Goodrich 500, the green flag flies. In 1990, he was good enough to crack into the elite NASCAR circuit, driving a car owned by Junie Dunlavey. When you saw drive your car, did you see potential? Yeah, yeah, he had the, had the ability. But despite showing real promise, first car out of the race, it just Jay dropped out of the race early due to transmission trouble. After that race, I don't know where, but I, I just never heard any more from him. Racing in the Indy 500 is what Terry is determined to do next. If I'm gonna do an Indy car, then I need to focus it and go towards that. 
Terry is trying to get back on track. A few months ago, she did well racing this Beetle in a charity event. Her backers were Volkswagen and Candy Shoes. All those skills that I had in the years just came right back. So would you put Terry O'Connell back in the car if she could prove herself? If she proved herself, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. In the meantime, Terry O'Connell is keeping her eye on the road. So anybody out there who's willing to step up to put a really fast girl into your race car, then <clears throat> I'm your girl.